Good morning, everyone. We're getting everything set up this morning. We got the animals fed. Well, we got the cows fed. Daniel, he's been cleaning up a little bit. He got the cows their silage. And now we're gonna go take care of the calves. The calves are looking healthy. Everyone looks good this morning. Uh, they need some grain, so I'm gonna fill that up for them quick. So when we're starting calves on grain, we this is the type of grain we feed them. It's a 12% sweet feed. And if you look down in here, this is to just get them started. It's a little sweeter than what we would normally feed. It's just to help them get used to eating grain. The calves are all finished. Now we're gonna go collect the eggs. Good morning, ladies. Some beautiful eggs. As I was collecting the eggs, I noticed that their feed was a little low. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some feed in and feed the laying hens. The chickens have all their food. All right, so we made it down to our field with the test plot in it, and Matthew is gonna explain what we're doing here. Okay, so we know how much corn we have here, and then we have all the different uh, varieties, different, well, some are experimental, like this one here. This number is- Yeah, brand new. This number is a new number. So we're testing how that one does compared to numbers that we already know what they do, like this one here, PO843 AM, very good hybrid corn. So we know that this one's good. We don't know how good this one is for our area. And so for other, other farmers in the area, by doing this, we're able to see how they hold up and yeah. how they do for us and how they'll do for other people. And this is just part of the process. Dad, our dad has been selling for 35 plus years. So this is what you need to do so you're able to sell the corn. You need to see how it reacts to your soil, to the area you live in. And what are you writing on that paper? So this is all the varieties. So the way this works is, since we're not actually planting a whole acre of each of these hybrids to see how many bushels we get out of it, what we'll do is we'll plant a certain set amount, and then we have over here, we have a wagon with the scales set up for it. So we'll weigh it, and then there's a mathematical equation. So by how long, how, many, how long this is, how many plants we have planted in it, how many pounds we get out of it, combined with what the test weight of the corn is, will tell us what the bushels per acre would be, what the yield would be if we were to plant a lot of it. So it's to see all that, get all of that information. You're pretty good at this stuff, Matt. Matt is writing down the information and Daniel's getting a sample. You guys are good at this. Ooh, Daniel, give me a smile. farmers out west who are having trouble harvesting uh, with the wet. The way our ground is, there's a lot of shale in it, so it drains relatively easily. And although it is a little wet, it's not near like what they're dealing with out west.
Yo, what's up? Oh, you know. What you guys doing today? What? You ate lunch already? Yeah. What was it? Sandwiches. They're late. What time is it? Uh, quarter okay. after 12. What the heck? <laughs> I'm putting this in my video, okay? Okay. This is my cousins. They're the Spud Kings. If you haven't seen the potato video, these are the Spud Kings. We aren't finished yet, but it's lunchtime, so we're gonna head back and eat. All finished with lunch and now back to work. So Matthew, Yo. when someone sees all these numbers and doesn't understand what they mean, what do these numbers mean? Like which ones here? They're just variety numbers, um, different strains of hybrid, different, um, different, different plants, different kinds of corn. So this one here, 0306, it matures in 103 days. Okay, and then this one here, 0843, is in 108 days. So depending on where you are in the world. You might need something that's a little shorter season, 103 day, and we're going progressively shorter in this plot we have all the way down to an 83 day. We cover from 83 all the way to the longest season's 109. Depending on where you are, uh, the, the conditions you're planting in this year, it was very wet when we planted. And so in some areas you couldn't plant till later than normal, so you needed shorter season corn to be able to get a crop out of it. finished we got all our samples we're gonna take these home and test the moisture on them and what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to tell our customers based off these numbers uh, how many day corn they want what kind of corn they want what will work best for them and that's what this whole process that we just did was about trying to help our customers to do the best that they can with their farms Whew, it's cold out Dad took the combine to another farm. He's going to start harvesting, and the boys, they're just finishing up, uh, weighing the corn and finishing it off. So we're going to take all these samples back to the farm. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's a good sign he's dumping corn. Uh, my brother forgot to put this in the back of the wagon to well, keep the back closed, so I have to take it down and put it in for him. That looks good. He's got corn flowing. There we go. Put this metal piece here just so the back panel doesn't pop out. <clears throat> we checked on dad, he's all good. So now we're gonna head back to the farm. He's over there. But everything's running good on the combine. So we'll let him keep working over here. Back at the farm now. We gotta feed the cows for tonight. So that's what we're gonna do quick. Everyone's got their dinner. Everyone's good over here. Now we got to go take care of the calves. Everybody got their dinner. So we're going to head up to the store now. This time change has got us all messed up. And that is where we're going to end the video today, guys. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye.